Dear students, in my previous video, I talked about the soil profile and in today's video, we are going to talk about the soil erosion. As in your previous class, you must have studied about the soil erosion and you all know that soil erosion is the removal of the topmost layer of the soil by the action of wind and water. Soil erosion occurs when soil is removed through the action of wind and water at a greater rate than it is formed. If the soil has eroded, the crops will not grow very well. So it is very important for us to stop the soil erosion. Soil erosion is basically a natural process. It becomes a problem when human activity causes it to occur much faster than under natural conditions. So here we are going to perform one activity to see how we can prevent the soil erosion by planting more trees. Dear students, let us do one activity to understand what is soil erosion and how we can prevent it. So as we all know, soil erosion is the removal of the topmost layer of soil by the action of water and wind. So for this activity, materials which we require are, we need to take two bottles and in one bottle we have to collect a loamy soil and in another bottle we have to grow few plants. And consider this, this bottle as a forest area because we have grown so many plants which will act as a, a forest area. And now this area we have to consider it as a barren land where there is no plant, only the soil is present. And we also need two beakers to collect the waters. Now observe carefully what will happen when the rain will come. First in the barren land, observe carefully. And next in the forest area, when the rain will come, see what happens. We are going to add for a few more water. And now watch it carefully. Closely look at the beakers, the amount of water collected from both the cases A and B. From the first case A, you can see lots of soil has been washed out because that area was barren, there were no plants. Whereas in the second case, you can see very few amount of soil is washed away because there were so many plants grown. So dear students, after watching this activity, we have come to conclusion that plants provide protective cover on the land and prevent soil erosion for the following reasons. Plants slow down water as it flows over the land and this allows much of the rain to soak into the ground. Plant roots hold the soil in position and prevent it from being washed away. Plants break the impact of raindrop before it hits the soil, thus reducing its ability to erode. Plants in wetlands and on banks of rivers are of particular importance as they slow down the flow of water and their roots bind the soil, thus preventing erosion. I hope now you all have understood what is soil erosion and how we can prevent it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel.